everyone. Welcome to Popcorn in Bed. Scooching <laughs> over. Welcome, welcome. Literal popcorn in bed tonight. Felt right. Yeah. It's kettle corn. Some, oh, smart I smart me some kettle corn. Kettle corn. I know you prefer smart, smart pop. pop. Skinny pop? Skinny pop. Is it purple? Yeah, it's purple. Oh, that's boom chicka pop. <laughs> She's boom good. chicka. Tonight, we are watching The Rock. The Rock. Not to be confused with Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. The Rock. Can you do that? Right? Absolutely not. The people's eyebrow or whatever? I don't, yeah, I have no, I can't do anything crazy. Can you wink? Yeah. Let me see. Can you not? No. Let me see. Barely. What? <laughs> How does it not wink? It's because I have squinty eyes. You can make fun of me for that. Okay. We're watching the- That was a better one. That was a better one, right everyone? We're watching The Rock. Real quick background. The patrons, patrons, they uh, have an app that they can go and submit their requests. And oh. one of our patrons built this website for us. And so it basically wow. records everyone's requests and how many times or whatever. Oh, so this website has compiled the top 50. I took numbers one through 25, put them in a bowl, picked out some random numbers, and we put this poll on YouTube. So YouTube voted. Wow, that's well, what well, they what? did. They tied it <laughs> for first. The Rock and Demolition Man were both tied oh, for first in okay. this pool. But then there's this other app <laughs> that you can go in and, cause like it said like 37%, 37%, mm -hmm. but this app like showed exact numbers. So gotcha. this one won by like, I think like a hundred votes or something out of thousands. If you think your vote doesn't count, yeah, know that it does. So I think we're just gonna watch both. Yeah, that feels right. Yeah, but this is the one we're gonna start with cause it won by barely a little bit. Um, guess who's in it? The Rock. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were confident. <laughs> um, Sean Connery. Our oh, boys. we are now on a Sean Connery kick. Okay. We, we gotta go in these waves. Yeah, right? seriously. And so, been on Sean Connery Why? and Nicolas Cage, who we just saw oh, in It Could Happen to You. Yes, we did. Okay. So, um, I think this is- I didn't is... know Nicolas Cage was in other movies besides the National Treasure, but turns out he is. He, a lot, I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What did Do you like National Treasure? Um, yeah, I liked them too. Yeah. I thought they were fun. Yeah, I they're think fun. people. I like, feel like they get mocked. Yeah, but I think they're good movies. Yeah, I was into it. Yeah. I love a treasure hunt. Me too. Like, subscribe, Patreon. Go submit your requests on that website. Get the app. And um, now let's watch a movie. Okay, let's do it. Let's watch the movie. Bay. I'm pretty sure he does Transformers. Oh. We know him, but we don't know why. I know him. Oh. I don't From know, I know him. Apollo 13. The right stuff. You're getting really good with like directors and actors and names and everything. I'm a cinephile now. I feel like I've not improved it. The right you have. <laughs> and I apologize to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Machine the Army too. I miss you so much. There's something I've got to do, Bob. Something I couldn't do while you were here. You know I tried everything, and I still don't have their attention. Let's hope this elevates their thinking. Please don't think less of me. Do you feel like this movie's gonna break your heart already? I don't know. I just get this feeling. I know him. From what? Mm, a bunch of things. I think. Uh -oh. oh my god. Who is invading the base? Is this on that person's team who was just at the. I don't know. Hummel? Yeah. I don't know. Because he said, I'm going to do something yeah. to get their attention. We got 30 minutes to those darts we're on. Oh, darts. I don't think they're killing them. That's good. Chest cancer. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. It's all connected. So he's like got a whole team with him. Check me through, will ya? <gasps> I'm so confused. So these are like Marines against Marines? The Navy? Because they left, they let General Hummel right. in. Wait, wait. Oh my god! 
gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're just a happy Nicolas Cage after that tragic scene. Got a JFK, cut a whip or something in this packet. The detergent it could be sarin gas. Cockroaches. Got him. Oh. Initiate exam of wooden crate. Fission of sarin gas. Not a good sign. Look at Stan. Hi, Stan. <gasps> you know, guys, we'll have that room clear in 50 seconds. I cannot see another gas attack. I've got some bad news and some really bad news. Gas is corrosive and it's eating our suits. It's all <gasps> my hands. There's enough C4 explosive to blow the whole chamber and kill everybody in the building. Oh my gosh. Suit, all right? Where's my ladder, ladder, one minute? Inject that in your heart before your suit melts. Did he say eject that into your heart? Yeah. If he takes the needle, won't he not be able to dismantle the bomb? Probably. Oh my gosh. We're not gonna make it. It is Nicholas freaking cage. You can make it. Oh my gosh. Now, heart, right? Dad? My gosh. I had such an interesting day today. An interesting day myself. Yeah. It was like 10 seconds from dying. Realized before blowing up the office. So I took the rest of the day off. Just relaxing. The world is being fenexed to hell. Handcuffed. If anyone's even thinking about having a child in this world is coldly considering an act of cruelty. She's gonna be pregnant. What's your news, baby? I'm pregnant. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, start reacting better. Is that all you're gonna say is wow? You're pregnant? Try again. Come on. We didn't mean what you just said, did you? I meant it at the time. You said it seven and a half <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> we marry me? Oh, oh, marriage police pull over. Come on, Stanley. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Did he say yes? I know. That was, I would be like, oh my gosh. I'm going to go here? out the door and I'm going to come back in and we're going to try that yeah, again. Yeah, I know. Can you do something for me? It's really, it's really important. Tell your teacher that you need to get back on the boat and go home right now. This is South Block House, the most awesome. Oh my gosh. I cordially invite you to become inmates of Alcatraz. Temporarily, of course. <laughs> Why does this feel? Yeah. Spend a couple of years in there. The tour is over, Bob. Oh my gosh, this guy's really got a rope. What tour is this? I hope they show us what happened to him that made him. Welcome to the rock, gentlemen. And deploy his plan. Yeah. I really hope those Tom, teachers oh, took the right kids. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm like, okay, it looks like they're bad, but I'm somehow ch not cheering for them, but I'm like waiting for the redeeming qualities. Right. Like, they sent the children home, like, that's good. They must right. be good. They, they were must... using tranquilizers, yes. I think, instead of... Uh-huh. You're being detained against your will. For that, I apologize. We will not be detained one minute longer than is necessary for us to complete our mission. So they're on Alcatraz mm -hmm. on the tour, and they've taken it over. Mm -hmm. We'll be branded as traitors, punishable by death. A few guys named Washington Jefferson were branded as traitors by the British. And now they're called patriots. In time, so shall we. Oh, interesting. You will each be paid a fee of one million dollars, but you can never again set foot on your native soil. Yes, sir! When they don't come home, their families are told fairy tales. Well, I have choked on these lies my entire career. Well, here and now, the lies stop! Man your positions, men. Okay. I'm a little unclear on their goal. Yeah. 81 civilians are under my control as of this moment. Who is this? A battery of VX gas rockets is presently deployed. Highly lethal strike on the population of the San Francisco Bay Area. This is Brigadier General Francis X. Hummel, United States Marine Corps from Alcatraz. Out. Get the Pentagon. Alcatraz was just reopened. This man is a hero. Legend might be a better description. General, it's him. Got a lot of very, very worried people here, Frank. 83 Force Reconnaissance Marines have died under my various commands. 47 in northern Laos and southern China. Remember Operation Desert Storm? It was my men on the ground that made those hits possible. No benefits were paid to their families. No medals conferred. Died for their country and they weren't even given a burial. It's like all the secret missions. Reparations of $1 million will be paid to each Marine's family. Do I make myself clear? You alert the media. I launched a gas. You've got 40 hours till noon. He doesn't seem like someone that wants to kill people. He does it, and it's for a good thing. I like, know. he cares about his men so deeply, and that they got no honor. And he's literally asking for money from a illegal mm -hmm. arms account. 
What is the potential casualty rate for a single rocket on VX poison gas? 70,000 dead. One teaspoon of this detonated in the atmosphere will kill every living organism in an eight block radius. What's it going to take to equip a flight of F-18s in the next 36 hours? An act of God. Excuse me. All right, we can try. But I strongly urge you to consider the use of this as a secondary initiative. No, I would like to do as he says. Yeah. <laughs> chemical biological man. We're gonna risk 70,000 dead times six for a hundred million dollars of illegal I stuff? think more than times six, right? How many missiles did he say he had? <sighs> oh, they're bringing in the specialist. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll be, I'll be down. Yeah, downstairs in 10 minutes. I have to go to San Francisco. No, you don't. You need to stay here and talk to me about things. <laughs> I feel like I've said those lines. <laughs> you have to stay here and talk to me about things. I will marry you. <gasps> Woo! I just didn't plan on this, that's all. So come to San Francisco. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a train no, exercise. No, don't. Check into the hotel. Are you gonna marry me? You know Are you gonna marry me? We penetrate the island through the tunnels under the prison buildings undetected. That way we can jump the Marines from behind and if we're lucky, take the rocket positions without a shot fired. Alcatraz has been ripped up and rebuilt for years. Under there is a maze of sh we need first-hand intelligence of the tunnel. There is someone who I think can help us. He does not exist. We just chose to forget him for 30 years. She broke out of two maximum security prisons. He hits the streets. He's not gonna hit the streets. 30 years ago, he was a highly trained SAS operative. We can't risk letting him out. Sean Connery. Bond. Yeah. James Bond. <laughs> it's gonna be weird to see him now. We just saw him as like okay. a young... No. Yes. That's not Sean Connery. It is. No, it's not. That's why I didn't recognize him in Bond. No, it's not. Because I've seen him as this. I mean, granted, he looks yeah. prisoner, but uh -huh. he, he does not look like him, his young self. I no. don't. What do you know about VX gas? Failed pesticide discovered by mistake in 1952. Uh, actually, it's kind of like the, the whole gas. Doctor gets bit. It's very, very horrible. Sir. It's one of those things we wish we could disinvent. Oh. This isn't a train exercise, is it? Oh, these people too. I hope they're giving him food and water and- I was just thinking about that. His name is John Mason, incarcerated on Alcatraz in 1962, escaped in 63. He does not exist. I want one thing, how he escaped the rock, specifically the route he took. Prepare to offer him a full pardon. Special agent in charge, Ernest Baxter. I don't know anything about your previous matters. Special situation exists that we feel you might be able to help us with. Get this straight, Pops. I don't like you anymore and you like me. But I'm here to make you a legitimate offer. By all means, dear. Thanks. Do you recognize the yeah. voice from Jeopardy? A strong corner. <laughs> There's a hostage situation on Alcatraz. You know the rock. You broke out. Successfully. <laughs> While I'm considering your offer, I want to sweep the Fairmont Hotel. You know, I'm here to cut you a deal. Call your lawyer. You're going back to jail. Just giving him something to think about. I don't think we have time for him to just sit around and think about it. You go talk to him. Me? Yes. Yes, Nick, you can do it. Well, my, I'm Stanley Goodspeed. But of course you are. <laughs> and you need my help. Exactly right. Prisoner requests to have his handcuffs taken off. Why don't you go ahead and have his handcuffs taken off, please? Part of the release contract from the Attorney General's office. So if you'll just uh, sign. <laughs> He's moving further <laughs> back. They're the Greeks, even when they bring gifts. I'm oh, an educated man. <laughs> In point of fact, I am a field agent, Mr. Mason. In which field? Anti-terrorism. Then it's the Fairmont Hotel. I want a suite, a shower, a shade. Thank you very much. They're not actually going to release them, are they? With all due respect, sir, I'd like clarification. I gave that man my word. You're on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. <gasps> Walmart. Why am I not surprised? He did that with a quarter. Yeah. Don't come to San Francisco. I repeat, do not come to San Francisco. I tell I'm not coming. Wait. Why don't you want her to come to San Francisco? I'm intrigued and very scared. I know, me too. We're on a need to know basis. You don't need to know. If you're going to San Francisco, don't forget to wear flowers in your hair. Sure to meet some snacks, drinks. <laughs> Why don't we do this outside? Get some sun. This is just not right. In fact, it's nasty. Do you think we have time for a sea kelp protein pack and maybe some color? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I don't want to hurt the hairdresser. Wow, he is very um resourceful. Yes. Oh my gosh, he's gonna distract everyone. 
So what do you have in store for me, Womack, when this is over? You'll get your life back, Mason. You could have given me my life back years ago. He's gonna choke him. Wait, where'd he put the string? Or on his wrist? I trust you now. We shake on him. Oh. Oh my gosh. Freeze, mister. Drop the gun, or I drop your bullets. It's getting very heavy. Please don't. <gasps> Oh my gosh, officers, stop eating! Go back out there! You want to I thought he was ordering that for himself, but he just wanted the distraction. Yes. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. I'm a, I'm a little nervous with that gun. He's, yeah. I mean, he's very smart. He's probably good at a lot of things. Yeah. <gasps> now he can blend in with a nice suit. And... Oh my god. They've gosh. really escalated this situation. Yeah. So much for keeping everything under wraps out of the yeah. media. Mm. Let's go, and Cage. Suspect is in a black Humvee heading west on California. Oh, in San Francisco, that's crazy. Oh my god. Is a Humvee a Hummer? I don't know. Maybe if I was like a, like a military officer. Oh. 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 Come on in, Cage. Place of birth, Glasgow. They don't have a name. Next of kin, Jade Angelo, 32 Stenson Ooh. Drive, San Francisco. Daughter, we think? I think so. Oh, we know her. Do we? Yeah. Jade? Yeah. Joe, Joe Me Black. Joe Black. Last photograph I had of you, you were about 10. Yeah? Well, I found a picture of you among my mom's things when she died. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, only take a walk. I got him. I don't think that we should romanticize what happened between you and her. Do you think she's in on it? She knows the FBI is like watching them right now? I don't, I don't think so. So they let you out? Yeah. That's good. What did you do? Jade, I don't have a great deal of time here, but I'll be coming back. You're almost the only evidence that I exist. But I don't know you. That's what I want to change, right? Eh? Hey? Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to be feeling either. I'm not an evil man. He's about to get send it upon in front of her. It? Well, way to alert him that you're coming, everyone. You broke out of prison again, didn't you? Why Just did you to see her. her. FBI, ma'am. He's helping us resolve a dangerous situation. He is? Yes, ma'am. Well, gee whiz, John, I guess we ought to get going, huh? You say stop. I want to cry. That was a really decent thing. Mm-hmm. What do you say we cut the chit chat a hole? <laughs> if I had my way, you would be shipped back to Wolfburg and Lake Irons. There's a lot going you on. A hole. <laughs> <laughs> well, golly gee, John, we better. Where do we go from there? I have no idea. What? I'll know when we're all inside. 
No, you're not going. My blueprint was in my head. It'll all come back to me. You're not going anywhere, Mason. If he's not going, then why the hell did we get him out of jail? You compromise my men's lives, and I'll bury you out there. You're between the rock and a hard case. <laughs> How's your bowling arm? I think I love him. I know. As long as he didn't kill anyone, like... I know, do you kind of... Like, yeah, there's part of me that's like, is he just doing all this crazy stuff because he's been wronged every day? Well, every he turn? said, remember Nicholas Cage, of those people mm -hmm. he mentioned were all wrongfully imprisoned. Yeah. That won't be necessary. He has to go with them. I hate it when I'm right. You're the expert. You mean I'm going, going out there, under the water? Now you're getting a gun and a wetsuit. You ever been in a combat situation? Fine combat, sir. An incursion underwater to retake an impregnable fortress, possession of 81 hostages on the VX poison gas. <laughs> you all right? I mean, you're gonna make it through this thing. I don't know. I always expected something like this was going to happen, but nothing prepares you for it. I'm responsible for a whole city. Remember, you were trained for this kind of situation, and believe me, it'll come back to you. You got the best SEAL team in the country backing you up. There's something else. My girlfriend's pregnant, and she's just flown in to see me. You keep your mind on what you're going to be doing out there tonight. And I'll send someone to pick up your girlfriend and bring her here to the command center. No! Send her home! Yeah, seriously. I would want her out of San yeah. Francisco. Mm-hmm. Frank, uh, we're having a few problems with the account transfer. Just tell me solution. This is about justice. This is going nowhere, Frank. Well, then let me tell you what is. 15 VX gas rockets into the heart of San Francisco. 17 hours to deliver the money. Be prepared to reap the whirlwind, gentlemen. I think he's serious. Yeah. But it's hard because he wants to be a patriot too, so. I know. Green light to seal incursion. Oh. Is that the plan? The seal incursion? To go underwater? Mm -hmm. Oh, that feels claustrophobic. Mm hmm. So Mason will run point for us. Lieutenant Shepard will be attached to his hip. Even he breathes with you. You piss, he helps. Good speed is our specialist. <laughs> He's a field agent, though. <laughs> Against maybe the greatest battalion commander in the Vietnam War. Any questions? I got a couple. Oh my gosh. This is... I feel conflicting. I know. This movie's kind of crazy. I'm yeah. really liking it. There's so many different angles. Right. Yeah, there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. And so many different intriguing characters. Yes. Who's the bad guy here? Which I one? Know. I know. Sir, my heart is being fast. Use the green flares to signal when the threat has been neutralized. Come in contact with the gas. You have 20 seconds to inject it into your heart. Oh, I would just love for you to tell me what is going on. Nope. Oh. Hey, where are you? God. You only got two flying in. I just lost one. You never went to any anti-terrorist school. So just make sure you don't get yourself killed. Okay, probably not the vote of confidence we needed right now. Turn and deploy! Good luck, Commander. Daly's not a very good swimmer. I mean, he can't even snorkel. Oh my gosh. I want the perimeter patrol to the west end of the island. Double time. Okay, holy crap. Oh my gosh. And he did this how long ago? Mr. Mason, you sent us into a room with no exit. You stand by the door until I open it. Memorize the timing. Oh, is he gonna tell him the timing? Oh, oh no, he's gonna go and he's open, gonna the door? open the door. Okay, okay. He is like and a 60, 70 year old secret agent. And he's got like not any special mask on or anything. Welcome to the rock. <laughs> what a line. The Eagles have reached the tunnel system. Seismic activity, one of the storm grades. He was putting on an accent then for Bond. Because this is like Scottish, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the same voice as Bond. Or is it just deeper and more? It like, but it doesn't have that. Yeah, that strong, strong corner. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to talk out of the side of your mouth I, to do it too? 97 bases to the shower room. The Eagles are now at the access tunnel. They're right under the shower room. It's been too easy this far. I know. I mean, he literally rolled the yeah. flames and they had to like... Yeah, he destroyed San Francisco. And... <gasps> Wait, motion sensor. I want to use a mirror to cut the beam. Send the beam back to its source. And I'm going to move the prism. We got visitors. Oh boy. Wow. Got it. Good no, go. you did not. And they're like sitting ducks in that yeah. hole. Oh, I don't want people to die. Drop your weapon! Open fire! It's a trap. Drop your weapons! We know why you're out here. God knows I agree with you. 
I swore to defend this country against all enemies, foreign, sir, and domestic. Don't do anything stupid. You're under oath as United States Marines. Have you forgotten that? You're down there. We're up here. The one last time you tell your men to save no. their weapons, drop them off. I will not give that order. <laughs> He called for a ceasefire! He tried! Oh, no, not a ceasefire! Don't. She's trying to mean stop, right? Yeah, I don't think they heard him or. Ceasefire! Please, listen to him! Are these guys. The ones dying are all on the ground? Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. What's that? Oh my gosh. And he didn't want that to happen either. Oh my gosh. We got some movement. Two of them. It's good speed Mason. I knew it. We've got a 60-year-old convict and a lab rat. I'm telling you, it's over. What do you think he wants to do? I think he wants to finish the job. For real? Yeah. Is they're dead. They're dead. It's just me and Mason. Now he says he's leaving. Well, there's a problem, sir. He's got a gun. Go after him and stop him. You made a terrible mistake, and more of our brothers have died in vain. Damn you for forcing me into this position. I need to talk to you right now alone. I need to know who the f John Mason is right now, sir. J. Edgar Hoover is head of the FBI. It's no secret he kept microphone files of prominent Americans. This guy had dirt on everybody in the world. Mason was the British operative who stole the file. Of course, the British claimed they'd never heard of him. He held him without trial until he gave up the microphone, but he never did. So you held this guy without trial his whole life? This man knows our most intimate secret, the alien landing at Roswell, the truth about the JFK assassination. Mason died. He's lethal. He's a train killer. And he is the only hope that we have got. Mason! Oh. You wanna play tough with me? Okay. FBI! Free sucker! I'll fire. No, you won't. Good speed. Have you resolved the situation? Not yet. He's got all the guns now, yes, sir. <laughs> I don't want to not funny for it. I know. <laughs> this is what I do. I haven't got my glass. It's chemical weapons specialist. His daughter. She's in San Francisco. I got a lunatic up there, man. <sighs> with 15 missiles and really fucky stuff. You could have told my daughter. It was classified. Come on. I can defuse the rockets. But I'm gonna need your help. I'm gonna need it right now. Sir, space weapons attack radio you're missing. Then a rodent problem. Flush the pipes. Mm. The way I see it, you don't really have any choice. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't kill him, though. Take him as hostage or something. gonna kill him. Come on, Mason. What? You're smart. them to know what these guys up here are asking of it for. Yeah, that's true. Oh, shoot. I don't understand. How could we lose radio contact all of a sudden? What's it gonna be? What? How do you like your choices? It's hard because, like you said, you want these people to know. But then I feel like it would turn Mason on their side because that's exactly what happened to him. Right. He was doing a secret mission for the British. Right. For Britain. And they said, we don't know who that is. I'll do my best. Whine about their best. Winners go home and f prom queen. <laughs> what? Crude. Well, it was the prom queen. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're just yeah. doing this. Yeah. I thought we were sneaking it around. It is like some an more. old school shootout. Okay, but are, are oh the, my gosh, are the rockets in here? It's like one of them. The that was yeah. my question. <gasps> oh. So they said they never recovered the secrets that he stole, right? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's just about the most awful thing I've ever seen. Mason, the second you don't respect this, it kills you. Is that normal? The feet thing? Yeah, the feet thing. Listen, I'm just a biochemist. Most of the time, I work in a glass jar and lead a very uneventful life. Drive a Volvo. 
beige one. <laughs> what I'm dealing with here is one of the most deadly substances the part. earth has ever known. What do you say you cut me some friggin' slack? Remember when those exploded? Yeah, one little thing, one little thing, one little thing came out and it was really bad. The rocket renders an aerosol and can take out the entire city of people. What happens if you drop one? Handily, it'll just wipe out you and me. Seizes your nervous system. Do not move that! Oh. Morgue team has not checked in. Blackbird one. Blackbird one. Somebody's still there. Right, no, listen up, we got more company! They're not gonna risk shooting them when they're holding that stuff. Yeah, hopefully not. Three rockets somewhere else. We have to find them. Oh, the rockets! Oh boy. Goodness. Indiana Jones style. Yeah. I was thinking Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, but that too. Where's it go? I have no idea. What do you think chances are this takes them right to the other three rockets? We're we'll starting to pick up speed. You know how to slow down? Slim to none. <laughs> I only saw one of them. Me too. Oh, shoot. Is that Mason? Yeah. Mason, you all right? Yeah, it's perfectly okay, you idiot. The kerosene? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Me neither. Oh, that's awful. I cannot, I cannot. Is he getting that rope? Which rope? His own rope? Was it what's his face? Oh. oh. Different different rope, I guess. This is insanity. <gasps> get that out, get that out, get that out, kick! Oh my gosh, I feel like Remember the Fusion Frenzy game when you just like throw yes. the eggs back and forth? This is insane. Where did he even come from? He is a very trained agent. Yes, he is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was trained by the best British intelligence. Yes, I want his story. I want him to know mm -hmm. his story. In retrospect, I'd rather have been a poet or a farmer. Oh, he is Bond, actually. Yeah, I was just thinking <laughs> that. Like, he's kind of like the... No, the Mission Impossible of Britain. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, we don't know who that guy mm -hmm. is. And they said they'd say that, remember? Right, yeah. Oh, <gasps> They wouldn't. Maybe not a hostage. Yes. Then you've gone too far. Yes. That team has really gone too far. I see why their motive, but like, that's too much. Yeah. Let me remind you there are lives at stake, civilian lives. Tell them you need it. Uh, Larry Henderson. Have a father. Got exactly three minutes to return the guidance to the exercise. Three to go. Here's the thing, though. Them and defuse them. They think they're gonna get the money if they put the missiles off. Like if they let the missiles go, then they're never gonna get the money either. Right. Who the hell are you? I'm always left to the enemy. Cool. Go find the three missiles. What's that? Bingo. The bottom of the missiles. Name and rank, sailor. Army, actually. Captain John Patrick Mason. Retired, of course. Oh, I have a unique knowledge of this prison facility. Formerly a guest here. Oh, <gasps> what's happening? The bad guys are coming down. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. The, the, the pearls, yeah, yeah. Did they bother to tell you who I am, why I'm doing this? I don't quite see how you cherish the memory of the dead by killing another million. This is not combat. It's an act of lunacy. He's right. Yeah. Patriotism is the virtue of the vicious child. Mm, I don't like him anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is Where's patriotism to? gone too extreme. Way too far. <gasps> You're lucky that old man Hummel wants your life. Well, they... This is extreme. These people? Yeah. I didn't I realize we were, that they like, were using this. tranquilizers and yeah. being nice and sending children off to the bus. We're stuck on an island with a bunch of violence for pleasure seeking Marines. I was just thinking how wonderful it was when the inmates weren't allowed to talk in here. <laughs> How'd you do it? Nurtured the hope that there was hope. Meet my daughter. They kept a man alive. Why'd they put you away, poor guy? 
Oh, that's a long story. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Thermite plasma is operational. It's operational, but it's still... Yeah, it's never been, like, tested. It might For sure. Mm -hmm. Complete thermal destruction of Alcatraz Island. 81 American civilians and a number of U.S. Marines will lose their lives. They're gonna kill the hostages? I didn't realize they're gonna bomb the whole thing. I didn't realize that. I thought they were gonna, like, put something out into the air and so counteract it. So we, like... Yeah. Yeah. Solution. Find it up here. You went down the incinerator chute under the steam engine. That was really cool, by the way. <laughs> How, in the name of Zeus's butthole, did you get out of your cell? He's like, hmm. He's like, that's that. You just side lasso a bed sheet <laughs> with a wheel on it. Trade secrets, my son. <laughs> Should we prepare for launch, General? I'll handle the strategy, Captain. You're not leaving! There's a madman in there with his hand on a, on a button! Some sniper's gonna get his ass. Mason, stop moving. Hummel won't do it. He's a soldier, not a murderer. I read it in his eyes. Read his eyes? I can't afford to take that chance! He doesn't want to kill him. He doesn't want to kill his people. Sam, we're gonna need another hour. You've got three minutes playing you for a full order. The launch. Did you guys realize how many people you're gonna kill? You guys are a little too eager to kill 70,000 people. You're not leaving. Oh, I'll do it myself. I got three weeks weapons training. Set on your knees. I'm a chemical weapons specialist for the FBI. Glass or plastic? Why? Because if the winds change, we're all gonna die. End up in either a glass jar or a plastic bag. Then shut the fuck up. <gasps> Let's go find some rockets. I decided I didn't want your child growing up without a father. This code entered. Weapon available for release. The weapon is hot. Oh my gosh. Don't do it. Come on, come on. Women, children, children. Fire. <gasps> Fire. Oh my gosh, I did not think that was going to happen. I really did not oh think that gosh. was going to happen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a radically changing direction. Did Hummel do that? I think so. I think so. Underwater. Well, that's great, but there's still one left. Oh, it's hard because I'm like, Hummel has gone way too far. But he keeps having this like small redeeming. I know. What the hell are you doing? I'm not ready to kill these people. Do it! Frank, we're coming loose. You're coming loose. The rest of us are in complete control. I want to talk to General Kramer. Put him on the phone right now. You've been ordered by a superior officer. There's a major Baxter. Come on, put the phone down. This is what I want. I want the US to come out and say that they did this horrible thing to these people's families. I want them to give them money. But then I want those people to go to jail. Yes. Yeah, that still needs to happen. Have ignored, abandoned, or marginalized a great soul drank humble. American boys have paid for that neglect. Oh my gosh. This is the worst call I've ever had to make. Airstrike approved. You changed the coordinates, didn't you, General? They're gonna come at us with everything they got. I don't think I like your tone, Captain. Mission's over. Bull it's over. The day we took hostages, we became mercenaries. I want my... Money! I'm not about to kill 80,000 innocent people. We bluffed. They called it. The mission's over. Uh-oh. He's gonna die. Anarchy. Stand down, Captain! Major, I'm ordering you to take these men to the choppers. That's a simple order, Major! I'm relieving you of your command, sir. I'll have that sidearm, sir. You need this sidearm? Major Baxter, you're either with us or against us. It's been the greatest honor of my life to serve with you, General. <gasps> but like he said... It's over. <gasps> oh! Who's killing you? I don't know. Oh my god. Oh! Let's get him. Oh! My gosh. Oh my gosh. God, what have I done? Where's the last rocket? Lower lighthouse. Go. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh gosh, but there's someone coming for him. This guy's out of control. Do you like the Elton John song Rocket Man? I don't like soft. Well, I only bring it up because uh, it's you. You're the Rocket Man. <gasps> oh, oh, hold the pearls. Oh, hold, the, hold them so tight. <gasps> Why? Why? We already I knew he was very tall. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Do they not realize what I, he's- I don't think they realize what they're working with. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, don't show me how he dies. I don't want to see. You just gotta like throw it over something. <gasps> oh yeah. I want Mason to get off too. And the hostages. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Don't, don't do that. Oh my gosh. The ball! Literally fighting with them. Yeah. Oh, they're all gonna die. You're gonna die! Oh, get out of there, get out of there! What? 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 Run! Is he doing the shot? Oh, he's doing the shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. The flares. Yeah. Come on. You gotta throw him. Come on. Or something. Oh, hurry! He just stabbed himself in the heart. Target acquired. No, again. no, no, no. See it. See it. See it. See the flares. Why? Why aren't they seeing? Green smoke. Green smoke. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. The hostages ain't gay. The hostages are okay. Oh, oh, Mason! This is good speed. Are the hostages alive? Every one of them. What about Mason? But I also just want him to be free of everything. I know. I don't want him to be on the run for the rest yeah. of his life. He's dead, sir. Just come and get me. Well, Mac tore up your pardon, John. Of course. I knew he would. If you can get to the Pan Pacific Hotel, there's clothes in my closet. Two hundred dollars in the Bible. One twenty-six. Well, it's been a long time since I've said thank you to anybody. <laughs> if you fancy a journey, I recommend Fort Walton. I was thinking of Maui. Do you think that's where he hid the thingy? Is this what I think? Of Is it the treasure? Just kidding. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Goodspeed. Well done, son. So where's Mason? Vaporized. Blown out to sea. Poor bastard. St. Michael's Church. From Pew, right leg. I'm, I'm sorry! Come on! <laughs> what, I really killed JFK? <laughs> Show us Mason. I know, I want him to be, like, reunited with his daughter. Yeah, but how? I don't know. I feel like that one guy with the mustache kind of knew that he wasn't dead totally, too, you know, so. For a while there, I was like, well, there's no possibility of this ending well for anyone, anywhere, anything, but they did it. Yeah. Kind I of. did like, they didn't give me everything I wanted. Like wanted. Hummel died, but at least you got to see him turn good at the end yes, of the day. He had like, his redemption moment. Yes, what have okay. I done? Uh huh. He turned the missiles, like no civilians died. I understand his mission like his thinking mm -hmm. but not his method yes like his initial motive right which was not redeemable but like honorable right maybe, right because he right. cared about his men so much but yeah clearly and the president said way at the too end there he's like for us to have made a man like hummel resort to this mm -hmm. we've made a mistake yes so at exactly. least yeah mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. their mission will eventually come have some change yeah yeah do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh-huh. And then the rest of those crazy people didn't quite make it in. I loved Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. Yes! I loved them both individually and same, together. <laughs> same, Seeing that, like, yeah, whole dynamic was awesome. I really yeah. loved that. And he both was, Both like, great characters. Funny and goofy, but also, like, so smart. stoic. And, but yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, both really, really intelligent people. Yes. Gosh, yeah, there were so many dynamics to that movie. 
I I just really liked it. Me too. I yeah, I was very entertained. I'm on the edge of my seat. Yes. When did that movie come out? Do we know? It felt like it was like really well done. Yeah. Like yeah. I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. 1996. 1996. Yeah. That was still over 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that's not okay. <laughs> I know. I always think of 1990 as 10 years ago. Cause like 1990? Yeah, I cause I'm like stuck in my head in like 2000. And in 1990 oh, was 10 yeah. years ago. That's and then I was funny. literally. Anyways. It's just crazy to see. We literally just watched Bond. That was the last yes, movie we watched. Yes, I know. It's funny, yeah, that these are like, anyway, yeah, now to see Sean Connery. And I mean, I see similarities too. Yeah, like a little bit, but. Uh, but him on like the rogue side of it. But he was kind of amazing as this old man. Yeah. Who, like, like kind of grumpy old man, but also just like knew what he needed mm -hmm. to get done, knew what he wanted and did everything just to see his daughter for five minutes. And no, and that's what I wanted at the end. Just a little shot of him yeah. like, in a cafe in Mexico yeah, or it's something. like the Batman shot at yes. the end where you see that he's okay. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get but that. But it was we'll really... picture that in our heads. I mean, it's weird to say fun because like there's so much killing yeah, and, and like impaling and, and heavy message. Yes. But it it was like... I don't know. Like it was a fun suspense. Yeah. In a weird way. Yeah, yeah. You're right about the comedic relief too. Like it kind of came across stoic, but it still right. was like, what's happening here? Yeah. And yeah. I think they meant it like totally. as like to like give you a breath for a second. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was an unexpected cast. Yeah. And I like that on. way more than I thought it was going to. And Me yeah. too. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect, but yeah. I really liked that. Thank you so much for voting and watching <laughs> along with us. And we'll see you mm -hmm. next time. Mm -hmm. Bye team.